Well, the stock market lost $2 trillion. That's a 10% hit to most people's 401ks, IRAs, and it's leading the Fed to drop interest rates, which now really kind of begs the question. I mean, house prices are at an all-time high. Should I buy now or should I actually wait for the rates to just keep on dropping? Man, we've had this affordability issue now for the last couple of years. And for the first time since 2022, the Fed is now dropping rates. And with unemployment hitting a three-year high of 4.3% and a potential looming recession, experts are now forecasting up to maybe three rate drops in this year. So the question you're probably asking yourself is, should I wait for all the rates to drop and then buy a property? Or should I hurry and buy something now because a rate drop might jack up the price? We're covering all of that in today's video. Buy now or wait? That's the question new homeowners have been struggling to answer in today's housing market. Home prices have been skyrocketing recently in the last couple years, and the Federal Reserve's work to tame inflation sent mortgage rates soaring way too high, and it basically stalled out the market where people want homes, but they just don't want them at these interest rates. But rates are coming down. Last week, we saw the rates drop. Start of this week, we saw the rates drop, and now the market is starting to move. So is now really a good time to buy a home? Well, mortgage rates have backed off from 8% highs back in October 2023, and they're now sitting at 6.125%, but home prices are still sky high as well. No matter which way the real estate market is leaning, buying now means that you can start building equity immediately. So a lot of people are thinking now's the time. And if you're thinking like an investor, you understand that timing actually doesn't really matter because nationwide, there's always a good market somewhere that you can be investing in. There's good deals somewhere, which is why they're continuing to always buy real estate and they're not really waiting for special timing. So how do you really know if you're ready? Well, in general, if you can answer yes to these three questions, now is a good time to buy. Number one, do you have the capital to afford a home or a creative way to finance it? Number two, do you have a plan to maximize your ROI or basically make the best financial decision for the long run? And three, have you consulted with experts in the field of getting a game plan for investing in this current market to make sure you don't do it wrong? So back to number one, do you have the capital to afford a home or can you find a creative way to finance it? Well, if you have a 401k or an IRA or equity in another home, you've got the money, you just have to rearrange assets. French economist J.B. Shea said that building wealth is moving assets from low yields to high yields. If you already have assets, you've just gotta ask, would those assets be better off where they are or sitting in a new home? Number two, do you have a plan to maximize ROI and make the best financial decision for the long run? Most people don't actually know how to find a real estate deal and know if long-term it's gonna be a good plan for them. Over the last decade, on the last 2,130 deals that I've done, I can tell you that I'm averaging 60.6% year over year on my money. I know how to maximize that ROI. If you need help, you might look to me or other experts like me to make sure that you're making a smart choice. And three, have you consulted with an expert in the field to make make sure that for this market, you're making a smart choice. I do that every day, not just through videos I make here, but I have 1,800 real estate partners across the world and I build portfolios for them. So this is the conversation that we're always having to make sure that they're maximizing for their retirement. Even if you're thinking now's the time to buy a home, you might be wondering about the possibility of a looming recession. The odds of a recession in the next 12 months now stand at 32%. That is a one-third vote, according to Bankrate's most recent survey. And as you might imagine, recessions are a risky time to buy a home, especially if you don't have a strategy or you don't know what you're doing. Back in 2008, when the market crashed, everyone said that it was a bad time to be in real estate. All these homes were going back to the banks for closures. And I was trying to tell everyone it's actually the smartest time to get in the game because I'm buying homes for like 70% discounts, and yet people didn't listen. The few who did, well, I helped them collectively make over $100 million during the next five years by buying those deeply discounted homes. You better believe that opportunities like that are existing today. You just need to know whether you've got the right expert that's helping you do it. Said a different way, there's definitely upsides to buying a home during a recession as long as you have a financial strategy or an expert in your back pocket and you know what you're doing. Notably, there will be less competition in a recession, which can also help you find a really good deal on a property that you certainly weren't gonna find otherwise. Well, let's pass the final verdict. The decision of whether to buy a home right now is up to you. But if you look at the last few years, guess what the advice has been? Don't do it and wait. This time it's wait because it's an election year. Wait, wait, wait. Wait because we just had the stock market, you know, crash 10%. No, wait, 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 wait. We're waiting for rates to come down. There's never a good time to buy real estate. But in the meantime, experts like me that are buying real estate, 
We're making money hand over fist and there's a way for you to participate and get in on that action. The reality is I always know how to buy real estate profitably. It doesn't matter if the market is going up or down or sideways, but then again, I know my strategy and I know my situation. But what about you and your financial situation? Well, I don't know what that looks like. And if you're willing to share it with me, I'll put myself in your shoes and show you step-by-step -step exactly what you could do. And you might be surprised that now's the perfect time for you to actually be building wealth instead of waiting. As an expert in the game, I am buying real estate with my partners every single day. And if you were my partner, we would be doing the exact same thing. You might be wondering, Chris, where do I come up with the money? And I'm like, do you have a family member with money? Do you have a 401k and an IRA? Do you have equity in another property? Have you been stashing it under the mattress, putting it in insurance and an annuity? The money may be out there, but you may not feel like it if you don't have that money sitting in your bank account. What I do is rearrange your assets and show you how to go from low yields to high yields without necessarily adding more risk. Bottom line is, if you're like me, when I got started, I didn't have a silver spoon, I didn't have any credit, and I definitely didn't have any money. I did have a bunch of debt, and I found a way forward. There's a way for me to invest in real estate. And if you wanna know what your options look like, click below and request a free game plan. Get with me and my team and let me show you your options. Because when a multimillionaire shows you things that you didn't even think existed, it may be the pathway to open up the doorway for you to finally get the life that you've been wanting. Click the link, request a free game plan, let me share it with you, and let's see how life-changing it might end up being for you. Well, looking to buy a home is one thing, but looking to sell a home is another thing. Like, you might be wondering, Chris, should I sell my home, or actually should I hold on to it, turn it into a rental property? What actually makes the most sense? Click right here, let me share it with you.